क्वेश्चन नंबर 166 अ प्रोटेक्टिव मैकेनिज्म फॉर प्रिवेंटिंग एक्सेसिव इन्फ्लेशन ऑफ द लंग इज हेरिंग ब्रूअर रिफ्लेक्स डेग्लूटिशन रिफ्लेक्स एमेटिक रिफ्लेक्स इजेशन रिफ्लेक्स इन द वॉल्स ऑफ ब्रोंकाई एंड ब्रोंकियल स्टूडेंट्स देयर आर समथिंग कॉल्ड एज स्ट्रेच रिसेप्टर्स and these stretch receptors are stimulated by over stretching of the lungs and nerve impulses are sent along the vagus nerve to inhibit any excessive inflation of the lungs and when this happens it results in cessation of inhalation and start of exhalation so that the lungs are prevented from over expanding so therefore this is the protective mechanism for preventing the excessive stretching of lungs This reflex is called as Herring Brewer reflex. The correct answer here would be option number one, Herring Brewer reflex. Whereas deglutition reflex is related to swallowing, emetic reflex is related to vomiting, and lastly, ejection reflex is related to defecation of the undigested food material. The correct answer here would be option number one, Herring Brewer reflex. Question number one sixty seven. Choose the odd one with respect to forceful exhalation. Options are internal intercostal muscles contract, abdominal muscles contract, volume of thoracic cavity decreases, external intercostal muscles contract. Forceful exhalation, students, is due to the contraction of two sets of muscles. They are internal intercostals. as well as abdominal muscles and since we are forcefully exhaling so it's an active process and in this process the volume of thoracic cavity would decrease since air has to move out of the lungs so this is correct and internal intercostals and abdominal muscles are contracting whereas option number 4 external intercostal muscles are not involved in this process the odd one here would be external intercostal muscles the correct answer is option number 4 question number 168 during exhalation in humans root of air is and then various structures related to respiratory systems are given and a flow diagram sort of is given as we know when the pressure in the lungs is more than the atmospheric pressure students the air is expelled from the lungs to the outside atmosphere and during exhalation the root of air is it starts from alveoli goes to bronchioles then it moves to bronchi then to the trachea then larynx pharynx into the nasal cavity and lastly external nostrils from which it goes out into the atmosphere the correct option here would be option number 3 answer is 3 question number 169 the rate of breathing in a healthy human adult is 38 to 44 times per minute 12 to 16 times per minute 70 to 72 and 20 to 24 times per minute it's a standard answer the rate of breathing in a healthy human adult is option number 2 12 to 16 times per minute and it's important to note that the breathing rate in newly born babies is about 40 times per minute and this is because there is leftover fluid in the lungs of babies also it is harder for the small air sacs of the babies to stay open for longer the right answer here is option number 2 question 170 match column 1 with column 2 with respect to respiratory volumes and their values column 1 has volumes listed and column 2 has their values let's look at option a here tidal volume tidal volume students is the volume of air inspired or expired during a normal quiet breathing and it is about 500 ml so option a goes with 4 whereas second inspiratory reserve volume is about 2500 to 3000 ml and it's the extra volume of air that a person can inspire by forceful inspiration option b goes with 3 
option C expiratory reserve volume similarly the extra volume of air a person can expire by forceful expiration and this is about uh, 1000 to 1100 ml option C goes with 2 and lastly residual volume is the volume of air remaining in the lungs even after a forceful expiration and it's about 1100 to 1200 milliliters option D goes with 1 with this the correct option and the answer is option number 4.